Real and nominal returns. People invest with the primary objective of growing their money or increasing their purchasing power. However, the value of money changes over time just as the prices of goods and services change. This is why it's important to factor in the effects of inflation in one's return on investments. Let's say a person invests 5,000 pesos in a financial product. After a year, the value of the investment increased to 5,250 pesos. That's a 5% gain. The growth of investment from its original value is what you call a nominal return. However, in reality, inflation diminishes the value of money and earnings. This is why inflation has to be subtracted from the nominal return in order to arrive at a real rate of return. Simply put, a nominal return of 5% less 3% inflation is equal to a real return of just 2%. So why invest when inflation takes away a good portion of your returns? Keep in mind that inflation affects everyone and everything and not just investments. If you decide to keep your 5,000 pesos under your bed for a year instead of investing it, an inflation rate of 3% would have decreased the value of your money to just 4,850 pesos. Hence, when you choose an investment, make sure it has a higher return than inflation.